Morning children, I hope you all are fine and eagerly waiting for us to start our first science lesson. So let us start. Today we will start our first chapter that is nutrition and plants given on page number 1 of your books. See, the uh, life is not possible without nutrition. What is nutrition? The process of obtaining food and utilizing it to get energy for our survival. If there is no food, none of the living organisms can survive. This you all are aware of. So, the plants are no different. They also require food. right? And we have been learning since many years that plants are self-dependent. They are able to prepare their own food through the process of photosynthesis. right? And only the requirement of photosynthesis, what is required? Carbon dioxide, water, sunlight and chlorophyll. What is chlorophyll? The green pigment present in plants. Now, uh, through this we remember that the green plants can easily photosynthesize. But in this chapter you will also learn about various other plants which are not green in color. What about them then? So all this we will learn in this chapter. So modes of nutrition means the types. The types of nutrition in plants. Right? See animals, all are consumers, all are car uh, whether they are herbivores or carnivores are all dependent upon other organisms. But plants, some plants are self-dependent some others are also dependent upon others. This must be very new for you. But there are plants which are dependent upon other plants and organisms for their survival. So see, the two modes are there now. Autotrops and heterotrops. Auto is self-nutrition. That is auto means self. Like you have auto start now. So auto means self. Trop means nourishment or nutrition. So autotropic mode of nutrition is when the plants are able to photosynthesize. They are able to prepare their own food through the abiotic components of the environment. What are the abiotic components? Carbon dioxide, water and sunlight. And they have the chlorophyll in them. So they are easily able to prepare their own food. And they become producers. Right? They become producers and all other population of animals and the non-green plants all will be dependent upon these green plants. Some bacteria also are autotropic in nature. They are also able to prepare their own food. Now, this is the first mode of nourishment that is autotropic nutrition where the organism is able to, is capable of producing their own food through the abiotic components of the environment. Right? And But they must be green in color. Remember, all autotrops are green plants because they have to have the chlorophyll in them. Chlorophyll, if chlorophyll is there, the plant will be able to photosynthesize easily. Right? Now, the second mode of nourishment where if the plants are non-green. Like you see in the picture mushroom. Mushroom is a type of a fungus. Right? And have you seen the color of the of this mushroom? It is usually it is usually green or it, yes, it is not green. It's usually black or white in color. The base of the mushroom is black and the top is usually white. So, if it is not green in color, it is not having chlorophyll and it will not be able to photosynthesize. So, such plants which are not able to prepare their own food and they are dependent upon either living organisms or dead organisms for their survival, for their nourishment. Such plants or such organisms are called heterotrophs and such type of nourishment is called heterotropic nutrition. This is the second mode of nutrition. right? When the plants are not green in color. This is the difference between autotropic and heterotropic nutrition. All autotrophs are self-dependent. They only use the carbon dioxide, water and sunlight and can prepare their own food. But heterotrophs are not able to prepare their own food. They are dependent upon others. Right? Chlorophyll is, has to be there in the autotrophs like I told you. But in heterotrophs, chlorophyll is not required and they don't have chlorophyll also. All the green plants and some bacteria and some microbes are autotrophs. Heterotrophs, all the animals and all non-green plants including fungus, including some kind of algae and bacteria also. Right? And autotrophs can prepare their food generally during the daytime because they require sunlight for preparation of food. Right? This was the difference between autotrophs and heterotrophs. I hope you understood the lesson very well. Right? On the basis of the lesson which was taught today, please try to answer the questions given at the end. This is your assignment for today. 
try to give an example of an autotropic plant and heterotropic plant. Explain the autotropic and heterotropic mode of nourishment. Write their definitions and then draw rough diagrams. Okay? Plant, you all know how to draw a plant, label its parts and draw a mushroom so that you will be able to relate the two. How are the two different? I hope you enjoyed today's class. Hope to meet you next time. Right? Enjoy yourselves.